Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. All right, so today is Riverside Day. Wear maroon and white. So I have my nice Rams, Riverside Rams sweatshirt on. Um, just having our the maroon and white. Okay, so Ram Pride Day. But this week has been the start of Read Across America Week. And next week, we're really going to get into it. And kind of who makes this all work and all about Read Across America Week is Dr. Seuss. And we're going to learn more about him next week with Mrs. Uh, Heller. I'm going to read Dr. Seuss books. Miss Bavona is going to be doing writing to go with the Dr. Seuss books. So, um, but I wanted to get us started. And this book is called The Tooth Book. And it says it's by Theo Lysig. Now, that is... Um, Dr. Seuss's real name you're going to learn it isn't actually Dr. Seuss. I think it's Theodore Seuss Lysig. I can't really pronounce his last name. I'll have to look it up again. But um, his pen name, right, a name that he gave himself when he was almost like a nickname when he writes stories is Dr. Seuss. So this one's an old one that it was, I guess, before he gave that name of Dr. Seuss there. So um, his real name isn't actually Dr. Seuss, but that's what he's most famous for. So we always say Dr. Seuss because that's what his um, pen name is when he writes his stories. Now, I switched it up a little bit. We did Skippy Frog, and before that we did BME. Yeah, you know me, beginning, middle, end. Now I wanna go back to author's purpose, okay? Because Dr. Seuss, you might think his author's purpose is just to entertain and just to be silly, but sometimes in a good amount of his books, they're teaching you a lesson or um, they're being, they're, he's giving you a little information. Like this one, it's called the tooth book, can be a little informative about your teeth, like we've been learning with Mrs. Heller. Okay, so the tooth book, I'm gonna say by Dr. Seuss. Okay, oh, thanks Miss Aubrey letting us borrow this book. Okay, so who has teeth? Well, look around, you'll find out who. You'll find that redheaded uncles do. Oh, also forgot to say, Dr. Seuss loves to rhyme in all his stories, I think almost every one. He likes to rhyme, even if he has to make up a silly word to make it make sense with a rhyme, okay? All right, so policemen do and zebras too, and unicycle riders do, hmm? right? That's silly. And camels and their drivers do. Even little girls named Ruthie all have teeth. All roofs are toothy. Teeth, you find them everywhere, on mountaintops and in the air. And if you care to poke around, you'll even find them underground. He's, he's saying an animal's got them there underground. You'll find them east, west, north, and south. You'll find them in a lion's mouth. Yikes, get out of there. Teeth, they are very much in style. They must be very much worthwhile. Oh, jack-o'-lantern, they make teeth in them. They come in handy when you chew, said Mr. Donald Driscoll Drew. That's why my family grew a few. Even the baby's getting teeth growing, right? They come in handy when you smile, says smiling Sam the crocodile. Let me see your teeth. You got a good smile? Yeah, okay. They come in handy in my job, says high trapezer Mike McCobb. If I should ever lose a tooth, I'd lose my wife and that's the truth. Oh my goodness. He, you ever been to like a circus or anything where they do crazy tricks and it's like amazing? He's holding it with it. He's holding that string with his teeth. Teeth come in handy when you speak, says news broadcaster Quincy Queek. Without my teeth, I talk like ducks and only broadcaster quacks and clucks. <laughs> You're lucky that you have your teeth, says a sad, sad snail named Simon Sneath. I don't have one. I can never smile like smiling Sam the crocodile. Okay, so snail don't have doesn't have don't have teeth. Interesting. See, there's where the learning part is, right? It's entertaining this book, but also for our pie, for author's purpose pie, that I for informative. Clams have no teeth, says Pam the clam. I cannot eat hot dogs or ham. Well, I don't think clams should be eating hot dogs, but clams don't have teeth. No teeth at all, says Pam the clam. I cannot eat roast leg of lamb or peanuts, pizzas, popcorn, spam, not even huckleberry jam. Oh, she's upset. Without teeth, we can't play trombone, says jellyfish named Jimbo Jones. Fun fact, I know how to play a trombone. Anyway, I guess you do need your teeth. Ooh, okay. I have no teeth, says Hilda Hen, but women do and so do men. All right, that's right, a rooster or a hen, right? They have their beak. 
So I have happy news for you. You'll grow two sets, set one, set two. True story, your baby teeth. And this, these are all my adult teeth, right? So when you lose your baby teeth, the adult teeth can come in, right? You will lose set number one. That's your baby teeth. And when you do, it's not much fun. Eh, sometimes, right? Sometimes it does hurt when they come out, but sometimes it's fun, it's exciting. But then you'll grow set number two, 32 teeth in all brand new, 16 downstairs and 16 more upstairs on the upper floor. Now, okay, when Dr. Seuss says downstairs and upstairs, he's talking about, here's the downstairs, right? And here's the upstairs, up there, okay? All right, he's not saying downstairs in your basement, you're gonna grow teeth and then upstairs on the second floor in your bedroom, you're gonna grow your upper teeth. No, 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 he's just saying upper, upstairs, upstairs and downstairs, okay. And when you get your second set, that's all the teeth you'll ever get. So don't chew down trees like beavers do. Oh gosh, please don't chew trees. If you try, you'll lose set number two. And don't be silly like Mr. Glotz. Don't break your teeth on tying knots. Oh yeah, even though you kind of want to, sometimes it could chip your teeth. And don't be silly like Katie Klops. Don't try to chew off bottle tops. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, that would hurt your teeth. Ah. Don't gobble junk like Billy Billings. They say his teeth have 50 fillings. Okay, this is what we've been talking about with Mrs. Heller too, right? Taking care of your teeth, right? You only get two sets. Your baby teeth that fall out and your, and your new teeth, your adult teeth, right? Even though you're not an adult right now, they're called that, right? Your second set, you have to take care of them, right? So they're saying don't bite on things that you shouldn't bite on. And here, what's he doing? Remember, remember we learned in Miss Heller, this was all bad for you? Yeah, all that sugary stuff. Now I was telling my class, it's okay to have candy once in a while, but if that's all you eat and you don't take care of your teeth, your teeth aren't, aren't gonna last, right? They won't be good for you. 50 fillings is like fillings for your cavities when you had to take care of them. They sure are handy when you smile. So keep your teeth around a while. And never bite your dentist when he works inside your head. Your dentist is your, tooth, your teeth's best friend. Bite carrot sticks instead. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but don't bite your dentist, right? I do like all of these. These were like almost like all the characters that were in his story that were smiling. We even got the jack o' lantern in there, right? Yeah, they're all smiling with their teeth. Oh gosh, are the animals that don't have teeth in there? No, I don't see them. All right, so that was the tooth book by Dr. Seuss, yeah? our first of many that we're gonna read next week, okay? Um, so author's purpose of that story, I kind of told you throughout it, right? Um, it was for the eye informative. It was teaching you a little about teeth. If you didn't know, you might've learned something extra about teeth, like, well, I guess I never realized the snail don't have teeth, clams don't have teeth, right? Jellyfish don't have teeth, I knew that one, right? Um, and also about taking care of your teeth, right? They were trying to remind you and teach you just like Miss Heller's been doing, right? take care of them and what's good for them. Um, and then I liked it for the E for entertaining, right? It was kind of silly, right? Silly, some of those things. And Dr. Seuss, that's like his main goal is to entertain you, to get you to love to read and try to rhyme so it becomes a little bit easier. All right, so we had informative, the I, and the E for entertain for our author's purpose pie. All right, so hope you have a great day reading um, in school or at home. Don't forget your reading strategies, right? All your reading buddies, we covered all of them now, right? And maybe today you can think, hmm, stop and think, why did that author write that story today? All right, bye. Have a great day.